No, that title is not clickbait. I did in fact pay $100 for USB, uh, specifically USB 4, to put in my new $5,000 Threadripper system. And you're probably thinking, why? Surely you have a really good reason to do that. And um, no, not really. So if you didn't see my last video, yes, I built a $5,000-ish Threadripper system with an RTX 5090. And one of my gripes, uh, I listed like this. For a $900 motherboard, I would have expected native Thunderbolt or USB 4 support. Asus even gives us a USB 4 header, but that requires you to purchase their USB 4 PCIe card to use it. So yeah, that card finally came in. This is the Asus, obviously, a USB 4 PCIe Gen 4 card. I legit have not opened this yet. I got it off eBay. Uh, for $120.97, so even more ridiculous. But um, I don't know how this video is going to go. Maybe it goes well, maybe something breaks. I have no idea. Yeah, let's take a look and see what this is all about. How about we turn on this camera so maybe we get a better view? I don't know. Um, yeah, so here's the card. I assume there's some cables in here. Very nice. Very nice. And the manual. Neat. Okay, so a little bit uh, more detail. So with my old setup, uh, I have my system running in my server rack and all my peripherals monitor and everything are up in my studio. And I have, uh, or I did have a Thunderbolt cable running to a Thunderbolt dock, but uh, my new Threadripper board does not have Thunderbolt, but it does have the port for USB 4 if you add this card. Now, USB 4 and Thunderbolt aren't exactly the same thing. They are very close. They share specifications. So that's one thing I want to test is that if I use this USB 4 card, is it compatible with my CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 dock? We'll find that out. So pros of this card, you get USB 4 and you get DisplayPort, as, as you can maybe see. Yeah, so two USB 4 outs and those will carry DisplayPort signal. Uh, so if you connect your graphics card to these DisplayPort ins, you can get video over your USB 4. Pretty nice. Uh, cons, it takes up a PCIe slot, which can be uh, a hot commodity uh, or a rare commodity or a limited commodity. One of those on your motherboard. Luckily, uh, we're good. Uh, we have a lot of PCIe, PCIe lanes and slots. We get two tiny DisplayPort cables, which is nice. Those will connect uh, from the graphics card, like I said. Uh, here is Thunderbolt, or not Thunderbolt, USB 4 connector, right? And this is something else. How about we look at the manual? Oh, USB 2. Why do we need a USB 2 header? Oh, yeah, okay. So it's all in Japanese. One weird thing is that uh, Asus sells a Thunderbolt version of this card and a USB 4 version of this card. My board has the USB 4 header, uh, and all of these were selling from Japan. I don't understand why. I, I really don't. If anyone knows why, feel free to let me know in the comments. But So I did have to wait a long time to get this in. Probably makes sense as to why this is in Japanese and why I can't read it. I don't know. Um, and last thing, uh, it has a PCIe power connector, six pin, yeah, uh, for power. All right, let's go plug it in and uh, See how it works. Okay, so here's uh, my system. Yeah, Threadripper 5090. And this spot, or this PCI slot specifically, is the one we need to install it in because I'm pretty sure that's the PCIe Gen 4 by 4 slot. So let's go ahead and do this. I know very professional like filming and trying to do this at the same time. Um, oh, hand cramp. I just caught on something. Um, I did forget to get another PCIe power connector, so I'll have to do that. But first, let's plug in these headers. So there's down there, uh, down there is the USB 4 header. And I guess next to it's the USB 2. I don't know why I'm filming this is impossible I can't see shit okay now I gotta get a power cable and plug it into there but um yeah be, be right back okay I realize that you probably can't see much but I'll paint you a picture with words um the cards in there 
there's the display port in from my video card and the US one of the USB C ports connected to my optical thunderbolt cable. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I use an optical thunderbolt cable. So that could be another variable here. Yeah, let's uh, go see if this works. Okay, so here's my setup. Uh, here's one USB hub that I use. Here's the other, and here's the one that is, here's the Cal digit that's connected with my Thunderbolt into the new card. So one way to test if this actually works, let's just take my mouse uh, wireless dongle and plug it in. I heard something and my mouse works. It works. Oh, chill. Neat. So I guess the other thing is if I take this cable, just the USB-C cable, USB-C, I said that weird, and plug it into my monitor, do I get video? Uh, let's, let's try that. Oh no, do I have enough slack? I think I do. Tilt this back, I know. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, if I plug this into um, under here, now I'm scared. Oh my God, dude, this is, a, this is chaos. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay, so let's switch to type C. Does it work? It does not look like it. I'm gonna check the cables and try again. Okay, so I went to the BIOS and found this setting. Probably uh, need to turn that on. So let's do that. Aha, uh -huh. a lot of things going on. We'll just leave that to fault. Okay, so later that night, uh, we had friends over and uh, had cocktails. So yeah, um, the USB 4, it looks like it's showing up in Device Manager. So that is better than before. Theoretically, we should be getting video out from USB-C now. I guess not. Um, so yeah, I mean, it says it's PCIe. It says there's DisplayPort uh, in. There's two. I don't know if it should say one right there or what, but I'm still not getting a video over USB. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Okay, if this looks dumb as hell, um, that's because it is. So I figured it may be an issue with the optic. I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm showing you here. The optical cable. So I used this regular uh, Thunderbolt cable, like not uh, 50 feet long. And it works with this little portable monitor I had laying around. So I'm guessing it has something to do with that optical Thunderbolt cable. So video does work. That's great. Um, it doesn't work up to my office, but that's okay uh, because I don't need it. I'm just running DisplayPort and HDMI anyway. So, okay, at least we know it works. That's good news for the rest of you guys. Okay, so what did we learn through all this? Well, we learned that I am a slave to capitalism and will buy pretty much anything, even if I don't need it, just to have it. Realistically though, I think we learned that, um, adding a USB 4 card isn't super easy, unless you're not running an optical Thunderbolt cable, and want uh, DisplayPort over USB-C to that specific uh, gigabyte monitor, which again, isn't anything. I don't know, man. I, I don't know why did I make this video? Why did I watch this video? Nothing matters. We all live in a simulation.